Hey guys, this is Speed Day 4. I'm redoing this video because the sound on this was even worse than normal. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to demonstrate every problem in these notes today because for the most part um, they're review. But I picked a couple that are a little bit harder and involve a few more steps to do with you. So um, go ahead and if you haven't already, do all of the problems on the front page. And then turn with me to number six. Okay, in this problem, Bob drives at a uniform speed of 65 miles per hour. Andrea drives at a uniform speed of 60 miles per hour. What is the difference in the distance they travel in two hours? So let's start by labeling our problem. Um, it says up here that Bob drives at 65 miles per hour. So let's label that, oops, speed Bob. Let me erase that. And Andrea drives at a uniform speed of 60 miles per hour, so let's label that speed Andrea. What is the distance that they, uh, the difference in the distance they travel in two hours? So there's my time right there. Well, the time's going to be the same for both Bob and Andrea, but obviously Bob's going to go a little bit farther, isn't he? So let's use our distance formula, speed times time. Bob's driving at 65 miles per hour, and he's going for two hours, so he's going to drive 130 miles. Andrea is driving at 60 miles per hour times two hours, so she's going to drive 120 miles. We're not done yet. We need to find the difference. So we're going to subtract 120 from 130, and the difference is 10 miles, not miles per hour. The question was a distance question, so it's in miles. Okay, go ahead and do the next two on your own, and then let's do number nine together. Okay, so Savannah drove from town C to town D, a distance of 120 kilometers, at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. She arrived in town D at 7.15 p.m. What time did she leave town C? So in this problem, we're going to find the amount of time that she spent driving, and we're going to subtract it from the time she arrived. So let's label our word problem. Here's our distance, and here's our speed and we want to know time so we'll put a question mark there so we're going to use the time formula so time equals distance over speed which is 120 kilometers over 60 kilometers per hour and we can cross cancel the zeros and we can cross cancel the kilometers and we're left with a number in hours and 12 divided by 6 is 2 hours now we're not done because the question is what time did she leave town C so we need to just subtract two hours from 17, 15 p.m. and we're going to get 5, 15 p.m. Okay, let's do number 10 together. Cassie took five minutes to walk from her house to the nearest store. Her average speed was 25 meters per minute. How long would it take if her average speed was 40 meters per minute? Okay, this time we have two different speeds, okay? We don't know the distance yet, but we're, we can find it out. Um, so let's see. So there's our time one. Cassie took five minutes to walk from her house to the nearest store at 25 meters per minute. There's our speed one. How long would it take her if her average speed was 40 meters per minute? Okay, so the thing we're trying to find out is the second time. All right, so let's keep track of everything over here. So time one equals five minutes. Speed one equals 25 meters per minute. Okay, we don't know our distance yet, but we can find it out easily, can't we? Because all we need to do is use the distance formula, which is speed times time. So distance equals five times, oops, 25. And our distance is 125 meters. So we can fill that in over here. OK. Now, let's keep track of our twos down here. So time two, we don't know yet. Speed two, we know is 40 meters per minute. And 
whenever we have two out of the three variables, we can find the third easily. So now we can go back and find that time two. So time two equals distance over speed, which is 125 divided by 40. And yes, you are going to end up with a decimal, and that's OK. All right, so let's do that math right here. Um, 125 divided by 40. And let's see, let's estimate. 40 goes into 123 times. So I'm going to write 3 right there. I need a little bit more room up here, because I know I'm going to come up with a decimal. 3 times 40 is 120. Subtract the 5. Bring down the 0. 40 goes into 50 once. Remainder of 10, bring down another 0. 40 goes into 100 twice. 2 times 40 is 80. Bring down that third 0. And 200 divided by 40 is 5. So my answer is 3.125 minutes. And that's how, far, how fast she'll be walking if she walks 40 meters per minute. Okay, the next problem, number 11, is extra tricky, and we'll do that together. Okay, it says, how many kilometers can Adam walk in two and a half hours if his average speed of walking is 60 meters per minute? Okay, this looks like an easy problem at first glance, doesn't it, right? Just a distance problem? Let's start labeling it. But check it out. Um, they're asking, or we're asking, how many kilometers can he walk in two and a half hours got hours here if his average speed of walking is 60 meters per minute. Okay, so if my speed is in meters per minute, I can't multiply that times two and a half hours and come up with a distance, okay, because I'm not using units that will cancel out. So I need to convert that two and a half hours to minutes. So let's just do this mentally. Um, if I have one hour, that's 60 minutes, so two hours is going to be 120 minutes, plus another half hour is going to be 30 minutes. So 120 minutes plus 30 minutes is 150 minutes. Okay, so now we're set, and now we can use our distance formula. Um, oops, I forgot to label that. Okay, so distance equals speed times time, so 60 meters per minute times 150 minutes. Now those units cancel out. D equals 60 meters times 150. And we can do this mentally. Um, let's ignore the zeros for a second. 6 times 15 is 90. And now let's put those zeros back on. So 9,000 meters. OK, but my question asked, how many kilometers can Adam walk? So I need to divide by 1,000. So I'm going to move my decimal over three places. And my final answer is 9 kilometers. All right, friends, that was speed day four. I hope you have a good afternoon.